morning people it's about two minutes to five and apparently sunrise is at four minutes past five you can see behind me look there's a load of color in the sky but i think there must be a load of cloud on the horizon because i can't see no sun coming up got out of bed this morning about quarter past four couldn't sleep because it's like just, you're trying to sleep in an oven because it's boiling at the bloody minute didn't really have any plans for a photo shoot i just wanted to get out and shoot a sunrise um and I knew that the sun would be coming up somewhere there behind a breakwater. So I'm down here waiting for Mr. Sun, but he doesn't look like he's gonna show. I think somewhere down there is a load of cloud, which is the worst when you know you've dragged your ass out of bed for a sunrise and you don't get one. But uh, fingers crossed, something might happen. There's a bit of color there. I'm at a place called Battery Gardens in Brixham. Down here in front of me is where a lot of people go fishing. And I always thought there'd be a nice bit of long exposure, water in the foreground breakwater in the lighthouse in the background but I was hoping for a bit more colour to be honest anyway I'm gonna have a walk about and see what I can find and if I do find anything I'll start banging me gums but it's five o'clock in the morning and I'm t-shirt and shorts <laughs> bloody lovely there's no one about not a soul about dead a couple of seagulls as you can hear well, I'm going to have a walk about and hopefully Mr. Sun's going to show his face. Cool. Well, I was completely wrong. Well, I haven't got my glasses on here, so... I don't know if you can see that. But the sun is just coming up over here somewhere. Where do I want to be? Do I want to be down the car park? Right, quick walk. Left, right, left, right. I quite like what's happening here. I've got, um, got the horizon. The sun's just poking its head through the horizon. And I've got the breakwater and the lighthouse all in the same scene. So I might, um, and there's a bit of colour in the sky. So I'm going to chuck my 70 to 200 mil on. Have a play with that. Hi, right, people. As you can see from that time lapse, the sun did pop in and out, come up above the breakwater, above the lighthouse. Not where I wanted it to, but hey -o. Um I literally just got my camera on a tripod here. Got me 70 to 200 on. Um, 200 mil, focused at the lighthouse, or focused on the lighthouse. Shooting at F9, going between sort of 60th and hundredths of a second. Um, and every time a trawler comes out, I just tap it and get a nice picture. So I've got the end of the, end of the breakwater, the lighthouse, sun rising, and a trawler. Looks quite cool, I think. Yes, yeah, so hopefully I've got some nice shots there. It's been quite nice just stood here watching the trawlers go in and out. Would have been a cool time lapse actually with the um, with the cannon, with the sun coming up and the trawlers going around. So I think the time lapse I got on this was a little bit wide, but yeah, it's lovely. It's nice. But I'm getting eaten alive by bloody midges. So um drank so much red wine last night, you think it'd put them off. In fact, I wish I bought me trunks. I could have gone for a dip. Saying that, I've been swimming the last two nights this week and the water is absolutely lush. Only June, but it's nice. It's nice swimming at the minute. Nice and fresh. And just a minute ago, actually, I did see Sammy Seal here somewhere. So if he pops up, I'll get some video of him, but... Hmm. Anyway, um, look at that now, look. Look at the sun. Oh, lovely. Oh, if those shots are any good, here they are. Like I say, shot on the... Um, Canon EOS R, the 70 to 200 mil, the old school, the EF, with the adapter to the RF, between sort of 60th and hundredths of a second. Yeah, if they're any good, they are. So the midges on the bloody lens, look. Cool. of you are thinking why don't I stay here and just get some more photography because it's a cracking spot like I've got some rocks in the foreground here which 
ideally was another. Sometimes I walk my dog down here in the evening and I think, oh, sunrise coming up over there. Be a nice shot with the rocks in the foreground and the breakwater in the background and the sun. The only problem is, because I'm shooting over water, um, you get this burn line from the sun that just comes all the way down the shot and some people like it i cannot stand it i just think it spoils me shot sometimes it's nice with some shots but um at the minute i've just got this sun's lovely breakwater's lovely i've just got this burn of light that comes right down the scene and it just doesn't work for me i might just have a little walk around the harbor <laughs> i've got to go i'm getting eaten alive i'm gonna go and have a walk around the harbor i think i probably won't you'll probably i'll probably be on top of a field or something but I'm going to, um, yeah, nightmare. See you in a minute. Not a bad place to wake up to in the morning, is it? Lovely. Bricks and breakwater. Bricks and harbour. Look at this, look, just a simple shot. Sun's going down over there. There's loads of yachts in the harbour, breakwater and all the rest of it. Get down low, focus on the grass, shooting about F9, so you can see you on the side of the harbour. Grass in the foreground, which is nice pin sharp. I'll show you what I mean. Look, people, there's shots to be had everywhere. Look, I'm on the car park here. Literally, come down here, focus on the grass in the foreground. I haven't got that burn that I was on about coming down the scene. Just a bit of a different shot. It's just something you don't see every day. F9, so I've got a bit of front to back focus. Not a huge amount because obviously I'm, I'm closer, I'm quite close to this grass. Is what the shot looks like. F9, I think it's about two hundredths of a second, something like that. I quite like this shot here, shooting this um, this boat here, because I quite like the reflection of the mast up and down. So I'm framing it kind of like that, but what I'm doing is I'm moving left and right so the sun is blocked right behind one of those masts. Just slows the light down a little bit. I'm shooting kind of for the highlights because I want to retain a bit of detail there. Um, and I'm hoping that I can pull some detail out of the shadows. I'm shooting at F13 so hopefully I'll get a bit of a sunburst or a starburst off the top of that. Keeping my eye on the histogram, I'm not blowing the the blacks or the shadows right out because I want to lift them. And fingers crossed, about 120 for a second, there should be a half decent shot there. Don't know what's happened to me again. No tripod, just walking around freehand. Cool. Yeah, that's that boat. If you can hide the sun behind something, it just slows it down a little bit, whether it be a tree, uh, a mast of a boat, it just breaks it down a little bit. I think sometimes that helps when you're shooting into the sun. Although saying that, I could be talking a load of gumpf and the shot might be crap. <laughs> right, time's getting on. It's about half past six now. Oh, it's lovely. I feel like I'm in Spain. Lush down here, isn't it? Look at that. In fact, what I might do one morning is come out and just get a load of video of Brixham during sunrise. Is this lush? You know what I said about putting the sun behind something? So I thought it'd be a cool shot to grab with the, with the boats and that in the background and the yachts and whatnot. But look at these two shots. Literally taken standing in the same place, but one is about two foot higher than the other. One, I've let the sun come blazing through. God, I'm getting eaten alive this morning. And the other one, I've just bent down a little bit and I've just blocked the sun and I've got a bit of a starburst off the corner of this thing. See what I mean by hiding the sun behind something? I just think it um, just helps sometimes. Although I'm shooting at an aperture of like F14 to give me a starburst as well. So. Cool. Taking a picture just a minute ago and Sammy the seal was here, or one of the seals was here. As soon as I put the camera on, Bugger gets camera shy. Anyway, if he pops his head up, I'll put the camera back on. I've got to say, like, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the, hit the subscribe button and just hit some buttons and cool. Really appreciate it, people. And loads of new subscribers, which is really cool. 
thank you very much. Bit of a test shoot really just to get my lazy ass out of bed and tell myself don't drink so much red wine the night before so I can get out of bed. Yeah, cheers for watching. See you in the next vid. Cool. Cheers. Bye.